Hey guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Jason, and we're at the Florida RV Super Show today, and we've been checking out a lot of cool rigs, so we wanna show you the top luxury fifth wheels. Yes, this isn't gonna be a deep dive into specs and interiors and exteriors. This is more so what we found really cool up and coming in the industry and new features and just really nice things to see that are happening in the RV world. So with that said, let's dive in. We're currently standing in a Grand Design Solitude 344 GK. You didn't think we could make this list and not include a Solitude, did you? <laughs> but the reason that we think that this is a luxury fifth wheel is because these two main slides in here are gigantic. They completely open up this living space and we just think that they are phenomenal. So then the other feature that we really love in this rig is actually a built-in desk. So we thought we could turn any space into a desk space when we were looking for a floor plan. So we kind of discredited rigs that already had desks built in because they were actually few and far between. We couldn't really find them. So we figured we'll just convert our own. And it ended up being a longer headache than it needed to be. To have a desk space already built in is awesome. And then another thing that we love about this floor plan is that it is dishwasher prepped. I can't stress to enough how cool that is. That is one of the main appliances that we miss from our sticks and bricks is having a dishwasher. So just being able to have it prepped and know that's an option is so awesome in our book. So then another feature that we love in this floor plan is this floor to ceiling storage. They just did a really good job with the organization of this. You have drawers on one side, you have the longer storage over here, you could get a Swiffer in here, you could get your longer cookie pans or you know those oddly shaped items. They really kind of thought of everything with this storage space. It's just massive. I can't express to you how nice this is to have. And lastly, with this particular floor plan and the things that we think makes it luxury is you have a residential fridge option with an ice maker in there. All of this counter space is just fantastic to have, especially when you're on the left or the right side of the stove. A lot of rigs that we've seen will have the stove in a sectioned off area, so you're gonna be moving like this to cook. And I don't know how you cook, but personally, I like to have my prep station right here so I can just move back and forth. So having counter space on both sides of this range is awesome. And then lastly, they have a great, giant, beautiful fireplace in here, as well as your televator, which is your TV on a stand that can actually go into the storage center. So that's what we love about this rig. Let's go on to the next. currently standing in a Forest River Cardinal 370 FLX. We wanted to highlight some of the features in this rig because we like seeing uh, modern features come out in RVs. So you can tell when we stepped in, they're targeting a couple different things here, but I think their main vibe is kind of modern farmhouse. So you can start to see that with a stainless steel square sink, as well as the cover being a cutting board and actually looking like wood. You can use most covers as cutting boards, but it's really nice to actually see the wood and see it fit in perfectly. We do actually like this faucet. This is kind of our modern style and it's nice that it comes off and it's a little more flexible. This is great to clean the sink with when you're done doing dishes. We're also really loving this quad door refrigerator. It's residential, which is really nice, and it's very large. And it, it's looking very modern with the chrome that they're going with here, so we do like that. It does also have an ice maker, which is 
really, really nice on those hot days like today. So a couple other features we wanted to point out here in the kitchen, they do have a ceiling fan and they are trying to move towards a more modern look with the light fixtures in here as well. And the dining room section, they went with a different color scheme. It's actually black and white, which I don't think we've seen that in a rake before. So not saying we totally love that, but it's nice to see new things. So a few things we wanted to point out here in the bedroom and bathroom area is they've added backlighting to the headboard, which is really cool to see. It just adds that little extra luxury touch. And then they have double barn doors, which is really cool. We have seen barn doors in RVs before, but we've never seen a double barn door, which brings us to the bathroom. So you're normally always going to see chrome in any RV type, luxury or not, but it's really nice to see a different color in the bathroom here so I think it adds a different pop of color and I know some people hesitate going dark in an RV we're typically like that too but I think for the bathroom it works pretty well and the last thing we noticed is they're updating some of their handles and fixtures to just give it that extra little bump so what do you guys think about this rig All right, now we're in a Mobile Suites 41 RKS B4, and we're gonna start here in the kitchen because this just speaks luxury. Uh, right off the bat, we have name brand Whirlpool appliances. We have both a convection microwave with kind of a fancy interface here, and a residential Whirlpool refrigerator and freezer in the French door style, which is really neat, uh, and a built-in dishwasher and there's also this big beautiful farmhouse sink here in the rear in front of this big picture window which if you're in a fifth wheel the rear is where you'll usually get your best view so let's go check out some other stuff that is very luxurious in this RV all right you have your TV and the televator which is really nice other than that you get this nice little counter space for it something I did notice was the sound bar here which is not typical in RVs so that's good to know also it looks like it could be upgradable which is very nice um, but it does come with a JBL sound bar uh, from here we're gonna move up into the bedroom but we're looking at this toilet from here and I don't know what the brand is but it does not look like a typical RV toilet. It looks pretty fancy. On our way to the bedroom, we did want to point out this really cool feature that's in this luxury RV, and it's these doors that fold and give us this nice big laundry area close to the bedroom, and um, it'll fit a full-size washer and dryer, it looks like. All right, smell-o-vision hasn't been invented yet, but if you were standing here, you would smell this beautiful cedar-lined closet. It's just uh, a really, really good aroma. And in here, there's also a safe. So you're gonna keep all the moths out of here, and you're gonna keep all your valuables in there. Uh, one last thing in this beautiful big bedroom that is such a very small thing is they added dimmers right here for your reading lights. So we never use ours personally because they're too bright, but that's just such an easy addition and makes it just a little bit more luxurious. All right, and so that's it for this model. Let's find another luxury RV. Crossroads Redwood 3911 RL. We wanted to highlight this rig because, well, a few things. So the first thing is we're seeing some upgraded appliances and features in here. I'm really liking the chrome with the black look that they have. I've never seen backsplash like this in a rig before. And this is a four burner stove, which is really nice to have with a large oven. It also has a residential refrigerator and it just feels a little more homey in my opinion. They've added a banister over here, so it really separates the space. And I really like cloth furniture. I know people are super torn, but 
I am loving the cloth furniture in here. The last thing I wanted to point out in this dining area before we head into the bedroom actually is this wireless charging station. It's one of those stations where if your phone is up to date enough, you can actually just put it on top of it and it charges the battery. You don't have to plug anything in. That is a really cool feature to see. All right, let's head to the bedroom. So in the bedroom here, we just really like what they did with the space as far as storage goes. So they have a lot of cabinets and drawers in here, which is really nice. And they even have a built-in hamper, which is awesome. And the last thing we wanted to point out was the bed. We don't know this brand, so we're not sure how comfortable it is, but what we do think is really cool, it's called an iRelax Sleep System. And... It moves, obviously. So you can actually sit up or fully lay down in this bed, which is really cool. All right, so those were our top luxury fifth wheels that we found here at the show. There are plenty to go through, so after a full day of exploring, those are the ones we wanted to highlight. Let us know which features you found cool as well, or what stuff you didn't find cool. We love to have these open discussions about where the RV industry is headed or where people think it should be headed. So with that said, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang we'll see you next time bye, bye guys sure fifth wheels and showing oh sorry he looked at me <laughs> hey guys i'm ray and i'm jason oh, I did not like the way i said that sorry we are currently standing in a forest river cardinal 370 almost got through it <laughs> they also have a quad door damn it <sighs> so they also brought in a quad door refrigerator here that scared me all right, now we're in a 41 mobile. <laughs> but uh, this cedar lined, what are these things called? Closet. Closet. Is this wireless charging point. <gasps> so close. Is this wireless charging port. It's not a port. This Station? Station.